right, Steve, you're on Sergio. Go ahead. All right, Sergio Pettis, this is Steve Juan from MMA Mania, and thank you for the time today. I really appreciate it. Hey, thank you for calling, brother. How are you doing today? Uh, well, I've actually had better days because I just got back from a funeral, but I don't want to be a downer, so let's oh, talk about that. That's all right. Let's talk about you instead because that will cheer me up a little bit, knowing that you're in Bellator MMA now. So how did that come about? How did you make the decision to join Bellator? Yeah, so um, I just I took my last fight in the UFC. Um, they uh, scheduled another fight for me, and I didn't realize we were out of contract, and so my manager said so. So, uh, you know, we played the free agent field for a little bit, I was uh, a little nervous, a little scared at the time. You know, first time doing something like that. And um, Bellator presented a beautiful opportunity for me, man. And um, I couldn't say no. So now I'm on the Bellator roster, and I'm excited to come out there and perform. I understand being on the free agent market is kind of scary, but it's also pretty hot right now because there's a lot of people bidding, Professional Fighters League, Bellator, UFC. So when you say Bellator gave you a beautiful offer, I assume they put the most money on the table out of everybody. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a great opportunity for me. So now, uh, being 26 years old, man, uh, I thought it would be a great move and a great, great transition. I'm very excited. Are you surprised that UFC didn't bid a little higher to keep you since you were coming off a win and not a loss? Uh, not really, man. You know, um, I, I think that's just how things work. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not uh, the, you know, the biggest, uh, biggest name over there. So it's all good. Um, I, I spent my time there six years, and now it's time to move on and figure out what's next for me. As long as I uh, get to compete at a high level, I'm a mixed martial artist. You know, that's that's what I am. So uh, any any opportunity that presented itself and is a good platform, I'm very, very you know, grateful for this. Well, you might say you're not the biggest name, but then again, I would say you've got a pretty viable name because you're already a successful fighter and you come from a famous fighting family and you, you come from a famous fighting training camp as well. So it feels to me like... Bellator knows exactly what they're doing, getting you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm definitely going to go out there and show up, man. I'm going to go out there and uh, do, do what I do best. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm just excited. It's my first time fighting in California, first time fighting at uh, the Forum. So, very excited. Also, I also get to share a card with Raymond Daniels, a guy who I've been looking up to since I was you know, I'm watching him point spars. So, I'm you know, very excited for this opportunity. Yeah, Daniels is a very exciting fighter. And so are you, for that matter. But... Alfred Kashakian may be a little bit more exciting than people know. He doesn't have the biggest name, but he's coming in off three straight knockouts. So give me your assessment of him as an opponent for you. Yeah, man, Alfred, he's here. He's a I get the job done. Um, I feel like he's going to go out there and put the pace on me, you know, try to uh, try to overwhelm me. He's a little bit older than me and a little bit bigger than me, so I think uh, – you know, I think he's going to try to go out there and, uh, you know, make a name for himself. So uh, definitely definitely an opportunity for him as well. So um, it's interesting, man. It's going to be an interesting fight. I love when people get in my face and try to fight me. It uh, brings out the best of me. So uh, definitely going to put on a big show for Bellator. And he's probably got to be feeling himself just a little bit because he's from Glendale. So getting to fight at the Forum in Inglewood is not a hard trip for him. Yeah, no, he's, he's based out in Cali, so I'm sure uh, that's his hometown. I'm sure he's excited to uh, try to go get his hand raised in front of everyone. Also, um, and I fought in my hometown, too, so I know he's got some added pressure to him, so uh, I'm excited. Absolutely. So with this fight being on the main card, it's a definite hot start. They're not bringing you in to warm people up. They're putting you right out there front and center. Do you think that a few wins can put you in position for a title shot? Yeah, you know, um, I've been asked that question a lot, um, past interviews, and you know, I'm, I'm I'm not big on uh, trying to you know predict the future or guess in the future. I'm very uh, present. Uh, right now, all I'm focused on is Alfred. You know, I, once I get past him, everything else will play out. But as of right now, I'm trying to get my hand raised next Saturday. Now, one of my wife's cousins is a wrestler and a martial artist himself. So when I mentioned I was interviewing you later today, he was like, "Wait." Does Bellator have a flyweight division? I'm like, no, no, he's fighting a bantamweight. So I guess you could answer that question for him. Is like, is this going to be your preferred weight now as fighting at 135? Yeah, man, I feel like the older I'm getting, uh, you know, the more my body's kind of putting size on, becoming more of a man. Um, 25 weight cut wasn't hard, um, but I'm, I'm a very strict athlete. When I have a, a set goal, I'm going to get to it. I never miss weight at 125. But um, I started off my career at 135. You know, I fought in the UFC a couple of times at 135, made the transition down, and got some experience, got some confidence. And uh, I'm, I'm excited to go back up, man. It's a lot easier on my body to not have to play through that much of a wake-up. Of course. Do you think UFC 
ever was or even is now really serious about that flyweight division because I have to rank those fighters, and oftentimes there aren't even 15 fighters in it to fill out the rankings. Yeah, man, that's, that's also, uh, you know, the reason kind of I had to, had to make a switch to, you know, um, last year they got rid of the division and it was scary, you know, so ranked, I was ranked up really like number two or number three at the time, and they got rid of the division for a little bit, and I got rid of it, but, you know, there's rumors of that, so definitely was scary, you know, I was like, fuck, you know, I don't know, <laughs> putting all this work and, you know, I just got to go back, but, uh, no, it is what it is. Um, uh, yeah, I don't think they take that division too serious, to be honest, I think we all know that. I mean, it's really a shame when you look at somebody who was arguably pound for pound the greatest fighter of all time, and they just let him walk away and go to one championship. So it was like that that sends a message right there that they're not really investing in the division. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't seem like there's uh, too much of a future in the flyweight division. Nope, but the future is definitely bright in Bellator. So aside from Alfred Kashakian, I, I know you say you're not predicting too far into the future, but... Are there at least other fighters on the roster you've got your eye on that you'd like to fight? Yeah, man, I believe the whole roster is talented. Some some big names too. Uh, some some good uh, talkers, you know, some good some guys who could uh, promote fights. So, uh, whoever whoever they put me up against, I'm not gonna say no. You know, I'm not afraid to fight whoever they put me up against. I fought some of the best in the UFC. Um, you know, I've taken I've, I've lost to Henry Cejudo, and then I the fight that I, I I fought the guy who beat Henry Cejudo, and I beat him. So. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not afraid. You know, I'm here to fight whoever they put in front of me. What do you think of the current landscape since you've been out there testing the free agency? Do you think it's better for the fighters now that there are so many players that the money's getting better, the opportunities are better, or do you think you know there should be like one strong division that unifies everybody? Um, you know, I, I think I think MMA is starting to get interesting. You know, I feel like uh, you know all the other organizations are getting bigger, and these fighters are friends. These organizations, they're, they're top, they're top level, man. They're solid. You know, at one FC, at Bellator, these, these guys can compete. You know, so um, I'm sure things are going to get a little bit interesting in the future, but uh, we'll see. One other thing that makes going to Bellator interesting is they're one of the few organizations right now that's doing cross-promotional bouts. Like, they did the Bellator Rising show just over New Year's Eve. So is that something you'd like to do is fight in Rising as well? Yeah, I mean, I think it'd be interesting. You know, I, I fought most of my career um, in the, the U.S., um, not really too far out of the U.S. I fought in Mexico. So definitely want to hop around and see, you know, the world, man, and show the world what I'm good at. Japan, whatever they, wherever they go, wherever they take me, I'm excited. Sounds good to me. So, who's going to be cornering you? I think I probably know, but I'll let you tell the listeners and anybody reading this who's going to be with you for this fight. Yeah, I'm going to have the, the same corners I had for my last fight. I had Duke Rufus, Daniel Vandalay, and I'm going to have my cousin uh, Elias Garcia out there with me as well. That's what I suspected. So, Everything's good at Rufus Sport right now. Everybody's flowing. Everything's going really smooth. Yeah, man. The, the vibes the vibes are amazing. We have a lot of people prepping for fights. All good vibes. All of us are grinding. Um, my brother's fighting next week. Macy Barber's fighting next week. I fight the following week. We got Paul Felder coming up. We got Manny Sanchez coming up. Uh, Rocky, I'm sure, is going to get back in the mix. So, um, Paul, uh, yeah, I said Paul Felder. Um, Gerald Mershard's coming up. Uh, Bilal's got a fight coming up. So, uh we're all just grinding, man. We're a strong team, and we, we keep the vibes good. It's it's been a it's been a great great time over there, especially during the winter. I feel like I'm like I'm in Thailand, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm in Wisconsin. It's crazy. Yeah, well, the weather's been cold and nasty where I am too. So I'm sure in Milwaukee it's not that much better. But you're keeping it hot there in the Rufus Sport Gym, and I always enjoy talking to Emmanuel Sanchez. I feel like he's probably the most underrated in his weight class right now out of all the fighters I talk to. Yeah, man, he's a killer, and this is a matter of time. The road, the road will see it. He's a, he's a, he's a savage. Yeah, I think if, if he gets through this tournament and gets another crack at Pitbull, I think he's going to show the world that last time he got close, but this time he'll get the – I think he can get the job done. Yeah, man, he, he put uh, Pitbull in the, through a war. <laughs> I'm sure uh, Pitbull felt that after that fight, man. He's, man, he's a tough, tough Mexican dude. Oh, absolutely. So, Sergio, in closing here, since uh, I know you've got to get going, this was your last interview of the day, I want to give you this opportunity. You can throw out any sponsorship plugs or anything you'd like to mention at this time. Yeah, just a uh, big thank you to Bellator for the opportunity. Um, thank you to CD Distillery for uh, supporting me throughout my career this past year and a half. I am also just got a new sponsor for my dog, which I'm very hyped about, is Halo Food. So, thank you to Halo Food for all that. 
all that you do for me and my dog. And shout out to Rufus Sports, St. Pettis, and everybody who supports me. Thank you. No problem. And Sergio, thank you for the time today. I really look forward to your fight with Alpha Chicken here, Bellator 238, in the Forum in Inglewood, California. Thank you so much. Hey, thank you, brother. Have a good day. You too. And thank you, Dan, as well. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Steve.